Hi, this is Wendy from Knitters Brewing, and I'm going to show you how you can embellish your knitting with embroidery. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the daisy stitch, which is shown here. It makes these cute little flowers. And uh, what I've shown here is it on a stockinette background, but you could put it on any kind of background you want. In this case, I'm showing it on the back of a heel of my sock. And I've combined it with the uh, stem stitch, which is the green, and some uh, French knots, which are the little dots here along the stem and also in the center of the daisies. And I have separate videos for those two stitches if you want to find them as well. So let's look at how to do the daisy stitch. To start the daisy stitch, you want to bring the yarn up through your work at the center of what's where your daisy is going to be. Excuse my hands here. Then you want to hold the yarn up and reinsert the needle where you brought it through to begin with. Now bring the needle back up. Uh, I'm going to go a couple of stitches. It depends how long you want the petals of your flower to be. And bring it through. and then pull the yarn up and you can see we've formed a petal. Now to secure that petal you're going to take the needle and stick it behind this loop that you just made into the stitch that you brought the yarn up through and then bring it back again through the middle to prepare to do your next stitch and then pull it tight and there we have it. To do the next petal, now all you're going to do is rotate your work and repeat what we did before. Bring the yarn up to the top, insert your needle into the center, bring it up a couple of stitches away, pull the yarn through, Secure it in the back and again bring it up through the middle. Now we have two stitches. So you're just going to continue around the circle and I would say make a minimum of five petals to have it look good. You can certainly make more if you like. The longer your stitches are, the skinnier your petals are going to be, and you're going to need more petals. So that's just kind of a little guideline to go by. And then when you're done with your flower, you can add a little center with a French knot if you like to give it a, just a little bit more finished look. And that's how we make the daisies.